Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 51. Just a quick note to say thank you for your patience over the holidays here as I celebrated Christmas and New Year's with my family, and uh, glad to be back at it publishing content for you guys around KW Command. So welcome back to the challenge. Previously, we have talked about our consumer applet and creating specific landing pages or excuse me, we're actually creating agent site pages, and those pages were created to capture and then display testimonials. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a landing page. So somewhat of a little bit of a similar process, but with a little bit different twist. So we're gonna go into our consumer applet, and this time around, we are going to create a new page in the top right, and we're going to create a landing page. So what's the difference between an agent site page and a landing page? Think about the agent site page as a slice of one big pie all about you and KW and everything that's on your agent site. That's a part of a pie and your sub page is one slice there. The landing page is really just the slice without the pie. It's gonna be one single link with one specific purpose typically. So we're gonna start off by creating a landing page. We'll click on create page and the screen will look somewhat similar to when we are creating our agent site pages with a few nuances. So we have a couple of different widgets over here and then the publishing process is going to be a little bit different as well. The first thing I would always recommend is that you title your landing page. This is super important. As you see new leads coming in, you wanna know where they are coming from. So having a landing page name is really important. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how to create an open house landing page to capture leads at your open house. So we're gonna say open house 1409 South Austin Street, Brenham. And I might even recommend that you put the date so you know which leads came in off of which open house. Next up, we need to put some content in on our actual landing page. So I'm always a big fan of the branded header. It shows that the page has some legitimacy and has your information here at the top. So that's the first widget that I would recommend bringing over. The next widget that I would recommend bringing in is called the lead form. This is how you're actually going to capture the information of the people that are viewing this page. And so you can see that it does request the person's first and last name, their email and phone number, and they can leave a note should they choose to. Now, in this case, we're creating a landing page for a specific property that we're hosting an open house at. So in that case, I would always recommend next bringing in the listing widget so that you can actually put the information about the property on the page should they choose to scroll down after submitting their information. They can see more information about the property. And then I think best practice is always to have a legal footer on any of your pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in here at the very bottom. So now, whoops, it erupted in at the top. Let's delete that and then scroll down here to the bottom and we'll drop in our legal footer. There we go. Now we've got that legal footer at the bottom. So right now we have dropped four widgets. Our next step is to go ahead and configure those widgets. So similar to the agent site process, we're gonna click on configure widgets down here at the very bottom. And you can see it goes through the three widgets that we need to actually make sure we have configured. The first one is the branded header. So if we click on that, it'll basically tell us what we need to put in. And you do have a header text that would show up right here. Now you are limited to 30 characters. So I might just put welcome to 1409 South Austin Street, right? So just barely got in those 30 characters. You may have to be creative with regards to that text. Next, if you go ahead and click on save and apply, you will see, oops, there we go. And we'll go to the next form. The next actual widget that we need to fill out is the form header text on our lead capture. So you can see it says interested, let's talk. I can change that to please sign into our open house. Thank you, right? And click on save and apply for that widget. That's gonna change what actually shows on the lead form. You'll see the next widget up is to select the listing. So we're gonna go in and browse listings. This was 1409 South Austin Street and Brigham, Texas. So I'll search for that listing. Here it is, we'll select the listing and you will see once I choose which header image I want, right? What's the photo we want to display? Click on save and apply. 
that's gonna update there as well. And if we go to the legal footer, I believe we should be good for save and apply. So we have now gone through, let's see, the branded header we need to do. Oh, it didn't take that header text. Welcome to 1409 South Austin Street. And will that take, what is going on? Let's see if there's anything else on this screen that we need to fill in. We don't need that. We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Oh, here it is. So the name Keller Williams Premier Leadership is beyond 30 characters. So in this case, we're gonna just change this to KW Premier Leadership Team. So if you get to a point where you can't actually save, just double check. It's usually something to do with a character count on one of the pages. So now we can click on save and apply and all four of our widgets have been configured. And we know that because we now have the ability to save the landing page and or publish the page. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and choose to publish this page. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to? We're gonna say, yes, we do. Now, separate from the agent site process, if we go to landing pages, technically this little slice of the World Wide Web is now live at this link. And if we click on it, here is the actual open house sign in for our listing on 1409 South Austin Street. So if you were to use this process and you had a tablet or a Surface or some sort of uh, laptop computer there at the open house, you had access to Wi-Fi, you could have guests that came to the open house actually sign in immediately and register here at the open house. Now, if they put in their name and their email address and their phone number, and then they could leave a note or choose not to. I like this house. They would click on the capture form, I'm not a robot, and then click on send, and that would then submit their information. Watch what happens inside of command. Three things just happened as soon as that lead put in their information. Number one, I got a notification on my phone that says lead form notification, new lead Tom Cruise, information captured. So I've got a mobile notification coming in on my phone. If we go back into command and do a refresh, we're gonna have a notification on our notification bell that we've captured a new lead. And if we click on it, it should open the contact record for Mr. Tom Cruise. And here you can see, right, we've got Tom Cruise's information, his phone number he submitted, his email he submitted. You can see that he came in off of the KW landing page. You can see which landing page, right? This is the title of that landing page. That's why it's really important that you title your landing pages. And then you can see the note that he filled out. Now this is actually a fictional Tom Cruise, obviously fictional email and phone number. But in this case, as soon as Tom walked out, we could add him to a smart plan like the open house follow-up smart plan and immediately start corresponding via text and email with Tom as a new lead. So this is essentially how you can create a landing page and then use it to capture lead information. The third thing that happened, by the way, is I got an email. So I got a command mobile notification, I got an email, and I got a command bell notification inside the desktop. So three different places I was notified about this new lead that submitted information at my open house landing page. So. That's it for today. Think about all the different ways that you could use a landing page to capture information, whether it's a new listing, an open house, maybe it's a home buyer seminar, anything along those lines where you wanted to capture people's information, you could use a landing page using the consumer applet inside of KW Command. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.